the Commission has, does not have military competences. But there are two very important things that we have. First, we are associated and uh, we participate in the councils of defense because the industrial part is essential. You cannot do pooling and sharing. You cannot seriously have a common security and defense policy without a, uh, an industrial basis. And second, we are also closely associated to the work of the EDA, of the European Defense Agency. So, in spite of the fact that we don't have a budget for defense, it is true that we can contribute. And there are specific projects where there are important synergies. We have an internal market, and the internal market covers also defense procurement, movement of defense products. We have an industrial policy strategy, which covers also the defense industry. We have innovation, and there are many dual-use technologies. And we have the aerospace policy and the energy policies, where we see also significant contributions that could be useful for the defense, se for the defense sector. For the European Commission, this uh, summit is an opportunity. It is an opportunity because it's not very often that heads of state and government meet to discuss defense policy. It is an opportunity because it's not just meeting, it's not just words, it's agreeing some concrete actions. And from the Commission's viewpoint, we intend to put on the table a significant communication with very concrete ideas that could be agreed and that could be put forward in the coming months and years. We believe that the European Commission can contribute to enhancing the industrial base, which is essential to develop a meaningful common defense and security policy.